So in the last video, we installed virtual main and we saw how to set up your DNS on Cloudflare. In this video, I want to change the virtual main port so that at least if people are using it via Cloudflare, they can still access virtual main, the virtual main backend using a Cloudflare port. So first of all, let's just search which ports are supported on Cloudflare. So I'll just search for Cloudflare port and I can click on identify network ports compatible with Cloudflare. And you can see here we do have HTTP ports and we have HTTPS ports. So I can choose any one of these ports to use. So let me just choose uh, 2053 and this is a port I want to change my virtual main to. So to change your port on virtual main, all you have to do is come here under web main and then go into web main and then web main configuration even before i do that let's go into where is the firewall let's go into firewall d i'll open that in a new tab and i want to add that 2053 port on accepted ports you can see it is not available in our it is not available here so the first thing I need to do is add a port. So add allowed port. So we need to allow it through our firewall first of all. And a single port, I will just add 20, 53. So 2053 and the network is TCP, of course. And I'm going to click there to create the port. And this is going to allow it through our firewall and therefore it will be accessible even on the public end. Okay, so now that the port is added, you can also decide to disable disallow 10,000 if you don't want people to try and log into your into virtual main using that port. But since you've changed the port and you've added the port, even if they go there, they won't be able to log in. So let's come in here and so just a recap, go into web main, go into user main, uh, web main configuration, go into web main configuration, and then under web main configuration, choose ports and addresses. And then under ports and addresses, we need to change listening port. Now the listening port is currently set to that. We want to, we want to change it to 2053, 2053. And as soon as I do that, save, of course, we won't be able to log in using this port anymore. Okay. This means that the server cannot, cannot access it through that port. So what I have to do is I have to log in again, copy. And I will just paste that there. And the new port is 20. The new port is 20. 53 enter do i have to type this every single time so the new port is https so you can see if somebody tries to go in there using http they will not be able to access it okay and you can see now the port has been changed so now that the port has been changed we can come back here and we can say now cloudflare can proxy can proxy this and Cloudflare can proxy that as well. No, not MX, but the A record. Cloudflare can proxy that. Okay, so in this video, you've seen how you can change your ports. And if you want to use Cloudflare or you have, you have clients and some of them will use Cloudflare, it's just a good idea to add a port that is acceptable via Cloudflare so that even if they use, if your clients are using Cloudflare, they won't experience any problems. Now in the next video, let's see how to add WordPress and we're going to install WordPress on this website. So let me just copy it. And in the next video, we're going to see how we can add it. We're going to see how we can add it on virtual main. So that's it for this video.